This is Herika, the first AI voice companion in the world you can actually talk to using your voice. Herika, can you carry my burdens better than Lydia? Oh, you poor thing. Are you still traumatized from the last time Lydia dropped all your pots and pans? Don't worry, <laughs> moist boy, I've got your back and your burdens. Plus... And you can even customize her voice, personality, and turn her into your ultimate Skyrim waifu. But you're probably wondering to yourself, how well does this Skyrim mod work, and is it going to be worth the money and time to set up? First, meet Moist Boy, a very damp level 1 Argonian who's about to set out on his own adventure with Herika to see the impact of Skyrim AI followers on gameplay. And if you ask me, this really adds a whole new level of gameplay onto what already exists in Skyrim. And we're going to need a small hoard of gold to fund this video before we go off and start fighting dragons. So first, here's a word from today's sponsor. Call of Dragons, an MMO fantasy conquest game where you build an army of elves and dragons to venture across the lands with huge RTS-style battles. But now we can actually hunt and capture the eight unique behemoths to add to our army. But you'll need to organize your cavalry, marksmen, and majors to take down these foes successfully. And if you do, you can capture it for your alliance and use it as a dev devastating weapon of mass destruction. You can even name it and train it to be really tanky or turn it into a killing machine. It's completely up to you, obviously just don't forget to feed it. Beastmasters can deploy them onto the battlefield during those huge PvP or PvE battles to strategically change the tide of the war, using the Hydra's poison mist to reduce enemies HP or even the dragon to rain down fire from above. And it's even crossplay on PC and mobile. Come and master your own dragon by downloading Call of Dragons using the link below or scan the QR code to join the action. Also use my special code CODMONSTER to get a head start with in-game rewards. Now this great Skyrim adventure is going to begin like any other just here on the map in White Run, where we can pick up Erica as a follower. Okay, so she should be somewhere here in the city. Here she is. Here she is. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today, Herika? Are you well? Oh, moist boy, you never fail to make me laugh with your creative mispronunciations. But it's Harika, not Erica. Oh, and I'm doing just fine, thank you. This is mind-blowing. So I should call you Erica? Is that pronunciation correct? Erica? Oh, moist boy, you really know how to push my buttons. <laughs> no, you shouldn't call me Erica. It's Harika with an H. But hey. Okay, so let me get this right. It's... <laughs> Rika. It's Harika, just Harika. Okay then, just Harika. So we've now got Harika as a follower and we're about to begin our adventure into the open world of Skyrim. Currently we've explored absolutely nothing. So I reckon let's go over to Iron Bind Barrow, which is around here on the map. Harika, I've taken you here to the battlements of White Run so we can look out over the world and I can ask you where you'd like to go first. Oh, moist boy, the possibilities are endless. But if you're looking for an adventure, we could head to the throat of the world and pay a visit to the Greybeards. You see, Harika, I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Oh, so I guess you'll be hobbling around Whiterun, regaling everyone with tales of your past glory? How <laughs> exciting. Harika, I'm not a Whiterun god. Oh, really? I couldn't tell from that impressive arrow wound in your knee. My mistake, <laughs> moist boy. So, what brings you to the battlements of Whiterun then? That's the first word I've heard her pronounce incorrectly. So far, the text-to-speech has been really convincing, and we can also change the style and personality of her voice, which I might do later on in the video, or in a future episode, so subscribe for that. But for now, we're gonna go on an adventure with Erica. Erica, do you have any money for a horse from Whiterun Stables here? Oh, moist boy, I didn't realize you were in such dire need of a horse. Have you considered just walking? It's good exercise, you know. Damn, she's calling me fat. Erica, there's a horse right here. Is this your horse? Oh, moist boy. You're quite the detective, aren't you? No, that horse isn't mine. I usually prefer unicorns over regular horses. Where can you get unicorns in Skyrim? Unicorns in Skyrim? You must be thinking of some mod, because unicorns don't really roam the lands of Tamriel. But who knows? She just broke the fourth wall by referencing mods, which isn't ideal, but... It's actually kind of very creative and funny. Herika, since we both don't have a horse, I think we should just steal this one. Oh, moist boy, you always know how to solve a problem with a little bit of mischief, don't you? 
but stealing a horse might not be the best idea. Well, I guess we're going to go on foot from here, boys. It's going to be a long adventure. Hey, Herica, there's some wolves ahead of us on the road. Do you think you can take them out for us? Oh, absolutely, moist boy. I'll just take out those wolves with my incredible archery skills while you sit back and watch. Oh, I Maybe like I'll it. I'll even do it blindfolded. Damn, okay. Big flex. There's some wolves just here. Hey, Erica, we're near the wolves. Go ahead and kill them. They're right in front of us. Attack, Erica, attack. All right, all right. No need to shout. I'm on <laughs> it, moist boy. Let's show those wolves what we're made of. Yeah. Look out, Erica. I'm being attacked. Oh, a nice shot. Well, that was easy enough. These wolves really need to up their game if they want to challenge us. Maybe they should consider taking archery lessons or something. Oh, thank you, Moist Boy. Guess they couldn't resist the charm of Moist Boy and Harika. I oh suppose my? my talent with a bow is just natural. It's not like I spend countless hours practicing or anything. Dude, this is insane. This completely changes the game from like a role playing. Who's this? What are we gonna do? Oh, look what we have here. A couple of bandits with refined taste in substance abuse and a distaste for the sting of bees. How original. <laughs> I reckon, look out, we're outnumbered. Oh, Mr. Boy, Wizard. Please, I was just getting bored. Let's show them what we're made of. Erica, they're too strong. Erica, I can see some people on the road ahead. Can you make out who they are? Oh, look at that. Some travelers on the road, huh? Let me take a closer look. The master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Erica, can you finish her off, please? Oh, sure, moist boy. I'll just whip out my magic wand and poof. Problem solved. Because that's exactly how it works in Skyrim, right? Besides, well, moist boy, looks like the madwoman has met her match. I must say, swinging a sword and sending her flying was quite satisfying. She sure knew how to put up a fight. Hey, Herica, watch me take out this wolf. God damn! Deletes well, it! Well, moist boy, looks like you've got quite the swing. That wolf didn't stand a chance against your mighty war axe. Oh, Remind me know? to stay on your good side in a brawl, huh? Oh, moist boy, I'm on the edge of my seat. Don't keep me waiting for this epic battle with a lowly wolf. Okay, that was almost there. She knew that I had a war axe, which is really interesting. Oh, there's another yeah. wolf! Oh, get wrecked, son! I'm just flexing oh, on these another wolves. wolf. I hope it's not the cousin of the one you fought earlier. They might have formed a wolf pack to seek revenge. <laughs> Don't underestimate my skills. I've tamed wild horkers with a single look. A wolf pack is like a bunch of puppies to me. So, moist boy, what brings us to this lovely place of doom and destruction? Feeling the need to make some potentially life-altering decisions, are we? Well, I've heard tell that there's a necromancer here that we can take out, and then we can gain the powers of the ritual stone. Have you heard of this place? My money's on the big one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, how thrilling. Another day, another necromancer to take down. It's like they're multiplying faster than skeevers in a cheese cellar. But hey, free powers, right? Never should well, have come well, here. moist boy, look at you swinging that war axe like a true hero. I must say, that was quite the impressive display of combat prowess. You've certainly earned yourself a pat on the back. Erica, should we activate the ritual stone? What do you think will happen to us? Moist boy, my deaf partner in crime, the ritual stone is a tricky business. Who knows what kind of shenanigans it will lead us into. But hey, adventure awaits, right? Oh no, Herica, I just brought a necromancer back from the dead! Well, that certainly sounds like a fiasco waiting to happen. Bringing a necromancer back from the dead. What's next? Bringing dragons back to life for a tea party. Oh, Herica, look at this. We've got a pet skeever as well. Oh, moist boy, you always have such a keen eye for the simple joys in life. Yes, this charming little skeever is my new best friend. That's a bit weird. Enchanted, aren't you? Just wait until you see the tricks this little skeever can do. It's not every day you find a furry companion who can fetch your enemy's toes for you. <laughs> so far, I'm finding the dialogue in this companion great. Obviously, there's a few seconds delay, but compared to what we saw in previous mod examples, the delay is now down to a few seconds. It used to be like 30 seconds for a reply, but now it's got down to like 
between three to five seconds depending on if you're using your voice or not at this point we can already sustain a full-on conversation but i feel like if it gets any better then it's going to be so fluid you won't even uh... notice the pause let's see how well we can deal with these bandits hold it this here's a toll road see 200 gold how about you let me through and i don't kill you ha huh. tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled Herika, we're under attack! Oh my god! The necromancer absolutely deleted oh no. her. Moist boy, I couldn't tell that we're under attack. Thank you for stating the obvious. Maybe next time you can point out the sky, is blue too. I feel personally attacked. Die! Oh my god! Your ex son! Yeah. Oh. Erica, take out that archer in the distance, the bandit, quickly! Oh my god, she's actually taking her out? That was Herika! She deliberately focused on him. Oh my god, there's tons of wolves here. Herika, help me! I'm gonna die! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So now you're telling me what to do, huh? Don't worry, moist boy. I've got this. Watch and learn. Oh my god. Oh, what's this? The mighty moist boy in need of help. Well, aren't you just a ray of sunshine today? Fine, fine. I'll save your sorry behind. Thank you so much, Herika. You saved my life. Just doing my heroic duty of saving clueless adventurers like yourself. But try not to get into trouble next time. Herika, what do you think of the surroundings and the view around here? Moist boy, the view here is absolutely breathtaking. If you find dirty, crumbling towers and bandits lurking around every corner to be breathtaking, that is. Oh, I love her. She is fantastic. Herika, do you want your arrows back from this bandit? Or can I keep them? Nah, moist boy, I'm all set. I prefer to let my arrows find new targets rather than retrieve the used one. Erica, this cheese looks pretty moldy. Do you think we can eat this? Oh, of course, moist boy. Eating moldy cheese is a must in the adventurous life, isn't it? Who needs fresh food when you can have a little bit of spore-induced excitement in your meal? <laughs> when I say this mod adds a new level of gameplay to Skyrim, what I mean is it makes you engage with the world in a very different way, which suddenly makes everything seem super fresh and interesting again. But we've really barely scratched the surface. Because next episode, Moist Boy and Herika will be taking on a real challenge. So subscribe for that. And if you're wondering, yes, this mod does require multiple subscriptions and obviously money to run. So if you want to support the channel, you can become a member and get early access to content or even support me on Patreon.